Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Tony and Grammy Award winner Jennifer Holliday has stepped into the role of Suge Avery in director John Doyle's glorious production of The Color Purple. And I caught up with Jennifer here at Gallagher Steakhouse just a few days after her opening night. Welcome back to Broadway. How does Thank it feel? You. It feels wonderful. I'm so excited. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All your fans at Broadway World. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. What's it like being back? Well, I think that... Um, you get that sense of nervousness, you know, of course, of having an opening night, of preparing for a role. So I think that um, it's really a wonderful feeling. You know, I am a Broadway baby. And, um, you know, so the theater is really part of my life, you know. Mm -hmm. So what was Tuesday night like for you, first time back? What do you remember about Tuesday's performance? <laughs> I think that the audience response was so overwhelming, almost like a concert. I was like, honey, this is the theater. Y'all sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> you know, it was like, you know, so it was kind of like, you know, just to have that overwhelming expression of love like that. It was like, wow. <laughs> you it's know. like an outer body experience, isn't it, when you come back to Broadway? Well, I don't, I don't know if you can, can say it was out of yeah. body experience, but I think that it's more of being a Broadway baby and returning to something that you were born into sure. almost, you know. Um, Dreamgirls was 35 years ago, but I started on Broadway in a show called Your Arms Too yeah. Short to Box of God. Yeah. So to have that feeling of, okay, we're on, we're doing this, and it's like for the theater, we're a team, and it's not just your show, it's everybody's show. It's even the, you know, the ushers and everybody. It's like we're the backstage person. It's, it's everybody's show. So the first time you saw this production of The Color Purple, tell me how it affected you. Well, I saw the original, of course, and I played Sophia <laughs> on the road in the original. And this, I don't know, moved me and touched me in a way that I had not uh, been in a long time. So it's more like a play with music. And just the, the be able to get the story and to get a sense of every little meaning of it, you know, so much of it being stripped away, uh, the simplicity of it all and how it applies not only to just the piece itself, but to even life, you know, simplicity of life as well. John Doyle, that's the genius of John Doyle. Yes. You had a chance to work with him on this. What's it, what was it like working with John Doyle on this? Working with John Doyle was like a master class. Um, one of my concerns when I saw the piece um, long before they even asked me about auditioning, was that as an actress, to be that vulnerable and be that raw, you know, it's like they only have one costume change, they ain't got no hair, they ain't got no makeup. It's like, look, you know, how raw can you, this is a lot of rawness, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, to have that kind of, you know, to do it, I said, I don't know, as an actress, if I could go there and I, and I asked a special request because he's a very busy man, I would do the show if he would take me on, you know? And he agreed. And so we worked together right from the onset and his generosity in terms of, of allowing you to, to breathe in the character, finding your strengths, your um, precious things that you have to offer and making that work for the piece. He could have said, look, this is the way we do it. Uh, go watch it. Go watch a couple of times. When you get it, I'll tweak it. He didn't. We started straight from scratch. So my sugar Avery is really my own sugar Avery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was there something that unlocked it for you? Because you're so different. You're so wonderful at how you do her. Mm -hmm. Was there a deciding thing that you worked with John that you were like, I've got her now? Well, I think he wanted me to be more kind of like a bluesy type. So mine is more like a Bessie Smith. My my sugar is more like a Bessie Smith. She's raw. She's, you know, she can be loud. She can be runch. You know, these kind of things. And the music more bluesy, you know, that, um, you know, it's kind of like um, you you care about life but then at the same time you just don't you're just gonna let caution go to the wind you know mm -hmm. and sharing the stage with Cynthia and Danielle has been a wonderful experience um 
of course, both Cynthia and Danielle have different techniques. Uh, Danielle is so funny, you know, and it's just amazing to watch her work and me having played Sophia before too, to kind of just watch what she brings to it and how she made Sophia her own and where she goes with it. And then working with Cynthia is also a, a masterclass as well because uh, uh, she's a consummate actress and she reminds me so much of a, a cross between a like a Cicely Tyson and a and a Ruby D you know because and the reason why I say a Ruby D is because Ruby D's fast Cynthia's quick precise to the thing you know what I'm saying her she's sure right away you know and to me it was like Ruby D she's on a movement these kind of things and you kind of uh watch her and she's very you know, as she gets her movement into her character. I mean, it's like, it's just been a, a thrilling experience. I, I don't even have words for how wonderful this has been working out. Not that I expected it to be like a hot mess or something, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying this is really going very well. Okay? <laughs> this is going very well.